back to Just Off the Plate, episode 61. Things are heating up, and I don't mean the weather. Armando's here. I'm Cody. Thanks for joining us. We are live on a Tuesday. Mondo, what's new? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, we anything, gotta... anything new in your life? Not that I could think about, other than uh, I'm struggling a little bit in, in uh, baseball, but okay, you know. okay, it looks like a new shirt. Yeah, a little bit, and I, I tanned <laughs> a little this weekend. <laughs> so, you know, if if anybody played baseball this weekend, they they may have caught a tan too. You got a farmer's tan? Uh, I did. I received a little bit of a farmer's. Did tan. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, I think I even mines out on Sunday. I went to the pool and I was like, "Hey, man, I gotta." At some point, we might have to do the Hellcat theme and maybe get the sleeveless the jerseys <laughs> to, just to even it up. Uh, I was, do you remember that year, that season when I would do that on the Toros? I would pull my sleeve up. Right. And you rolled a cigarette pack in it. <laughs> that, that's what it looked like I was doing. And, uh, what's up, Jose? Ronte. We got Jordan, David. What's up? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on here. We got, we got, we got Bo. The, yeah, we huge. Got the usual, the usual suspects. Um, Yes, indeed. We were just talking about the tank top. Yeah, you know the tank top look, man. <laughs> and um, guns out. Sun, yeah, and and, and guns and, out, suns out. <laughs> <laughs> right, the opposite. I think I think I stopped wearing it after uh, Bobby called me out on it. He's like, "Hey, bro, if you're gonna wear, if you're gonna roll up your sleeves, you know, at least work out." And I told Bobby, I said, "Look, Bobby, I said." These are car- these are carry on pistols, right? I can carry these on the plane. You got to check those big guns in to- <laughs> before you go into the plane. So, these are these are these are more travel size. So, just uh, just let you know that. Yeah, Bobby, he was out there on Sunday, so I kept my sleeves down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got Stewart. Uh, yeah, what's up, Hector? Stewart's in the house. He he <laughs> wants to uh, he wants to hear about the primetime Saturday game, huh? Oh man. Red Light District. That's right, sir. That's that's how, that's how we do that here. It, it's it's the Red Bird Special. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Maybe one episode will have the the ladies to go with it. The, the one day, right here. Maybe on the side, right? You get one, I get one. <laughs> we got to work on that. We're not that kind of show. No, no, family oriented. Mm-hmm. Strictly baseball. Strictly baseball. Now, if you come to the show after you know we're done, you never know. You never know exactly. Lucky. This is a bachelor pad. <laughs> right? <laughs> Everybody comes in here like, dude, what the hell's going on in here? Oh, man. The baseball but, threw up everywhere in here. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, you know, the the definitely was it was hot, right? I mean, we're in the 90s now with like 60, 70, 80% humidity. Um, and I think uh, I think I saw a post, you know, that said, uh, I hope um, I hope they weren't be sarcastic, but they're like, yeah, you know, um, uh, look out for the for the catchers and 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 uh, and uh, the umpires, right? You know because it's hot, you know, and uh, they they wear the most protection. You know, I mean we're out there, most protection we got at the cup, right? <laughs> and maybe baseball. Some of us. Some of us. <laughs> Actually, it's funny. It's funny that came up Sunday, Saturday. My the Aztecas game. I forgot my cup, and I just I was like, don't think about it. Don't think about it. Don't because if I think about it then i'm gonna be you know lucky you know, no ground balls came to me. Or yeah more than usual <laughs> and uh so but nothing nothing about it, but i had to stop before i went to the pirates game i make sure i picked it up so i wouldn't have no, no more excuses no more yeah you, you don't need those yeah picks it <laughs> all right sweet man yeah 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 you know so we got uh ben ben stanging customs he's making some custom cleats for the show Hopefully he sends them out and we'll be able to post them up on the next show or something. So we'll see. I have I haven't seen any uh, pictures no pre- yet. No preview. No Just preview. And you know what? I don't need the preview. I think I want to be surprised. You too. know, it's, so we can do what they call an unboxing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, a live unboxing. Yeah, I think we should. I think that's a good idea. We've done it before. I feel like. Um, was it the gloves? The Urani gloves. gloves? The, the Urani Urani gloves. gloves. Yeah. Yes. So, Which I'm liking mine. You liking yours? Oh, dude, I, I like mine. Uh, I got complimented this weekend. They're like, "Hey, man, what kind of whose glove is that?" I'm like, hey, "It's a Urani glove, local, local, um, uh, you know, dealer in town." And yeah. and because um, you know, it was of course was going good with my uh, with my uh, pirates uniform. Well, yeah, I, you you have to get the custom match. I gotta get it, man. So um, yeah, I, I like mine. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. You got a first baseman's the, glove, right? Right, right. Yeah. Seeing as that I'm over forty and. <laughs> 
<clears throat> any ball player over 40 should have a first baseman's mitt in their bag. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with playing first. <laughs> Some people will not accept first. Some people excel at first and don't understand that they have the all-star caliber first baseman mentality and they refuse to play that that uh, role and i think they're hurting the team right yeah i'm not talking about anybody specifically it may seem like i am but i'm not (laughs) (laughs) oh man or if you're nursing some physical problems and you can't really run all that much right i mean some of the best hitters honestly in mlb are in the first base right first base and right field even though we in men's league and you know little league you're like hey you play right field you're trash but hey some of the better hitters um i think i saw one time a stat that showed like the the right side got paid more than the left side. <laughs> it was weird. It was weird like that. It does happen, yeah. Right? Like, I want you to concentrate on hitting, and that's it. Well, look at uh, the Redbird game, for example. I think there was more balls to right than there were left. It's true. Yeah. It's true. There was a lot of opposite. At right. least it seemed that way to me because yeah. I was in right field. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. all but one inning of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was, there was uh, let's see, both, both. Wait, all three home runs? Were all three home runs right field? Uh, two of them were. There's, no, yeah, no, no, no. One, one left, one left, mm-hmm. and then two right. Yeah. And then, of course, Booth almost got the one over right. by you was yeah. almost over on, on right field, too. So, yeah, right field was pretty hot last Yeah, you're right. It was pretty hot yesterday. Or uh, last week. Well, that's what happened. What's up, Serge? When you got guys, you know, throwing relatively hard. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, the ball the ball's going to fly. I mean, the ball's going to really fly. So, But I think all in all... Um. Uh, it was good. It was good weekend for weather. I mean, it was good weekend for baseball. I mean, because here's the thing: we complain when it's cold. <laughs> we complain when it's fucking hot. We complain when it rains. So th- it's that in between, right? Yeah, but we compliment the good weather. We yeah. just we don't get the opportunity to enough, compliment it enough. enough. Yeah, that's for sure. What's up, Pedro? Oh man, you know Pedro had that line drive home run, man. I mean that thing was sitting low, just. I mean, just r- cutting through that air. <laughs> it's it back, what's that backspin, right? Oh yeah, yeah. That was a, that was an awesome hit by him too. So didn't uh, come down until after <laughs> it was over the fence. <laughs> Although you know what's, uh, I did see one Saturday in the Aztecas game, the the the, the forty plus um, league, hit the top of the fence, and you know, I was a little disappointed in the right fielder because the fence is not that tall. So he could have, and it's not that deep. It's not, and it's not that deep. Okay. And he just stood there, like he just turned around, watched it, and then it bounced because he thought it was gonna go over. Yeah, and it was barely creeping over. Mm-hmm. Okay, so he could have easily stood by the fence, robbed the home run, right? Didn't he have to do the whole King Griffey thing? He just had to fucking just grab it, right? Uh, then it bounced back. It bounced back, and it hit him in the chest, and it fell. Hmm. So I was like, I'm a little, 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 little disappointed in that. So. I felt like we could have. Well, I don't, I don't blame you. No. You know, running as hard as you can, knowing that there's a fence right there, sometimes that that's, will slow you down. No, I, and, I, and I agree with that. I agree with that. I mean, it's, it's. I mean, obviously, to your little shell shock, right, because you had the one in, in by uh, right field side. Uh, was it where you playing first base? Uh, well, yes. It, well, it's first base and right field against the Cyclones. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. always put, I don't know, both, they're always putting me into the fence. Yeah, I mean, and, and so I could see that, right? I mean, if you run into that fence, you're going to be shell-shocked, mm-hmm. you know? Uh, so I, I definitely get it. You're going to have some precaution. Um, yeah, that that's def- – yeah, David, that's a, that's a Canino. I mean, it's a short field. That one just, you know – I actually came back in, so I don't think they didn't even call it a home run. But um, you know, at that point, you're probably hoping it goes over so you don't look foolish, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oops, yeah, I've had that. Hey, before. it's gone. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Are you talking about as a fielder? Yeah, yes. yeah, as a fielder. Like I, I, I knew it. That's why I didn't run. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Bobby? Yeah, that's true. Hey, that's kind of funny. We had a little bit opposite, right? We had this guy. He's like, oh no, I thought it was over, but yeah, it wasn't. And so you know, it it um. We still won the game, so no no damage there, you know. Um, but you know, Canino is is a shorter field. Now, there's there we had I think two games, two home runs in that game, um, and uh, maybe three I think three. Pedro, Pedro uh, Garcia, you know, no uh, Bobby Chicken over there. What's up, Chris? Um, yeah, Bobby, I thought you were in, I thought he was in jail, uh, uh, Facebook jail, but. Um, Early release. Early release, right? He got for good behavior. 
we had uh, uh, Pedro Garcia goes, hey, I'm going to hit a home run. I'll be right back. And he hits a home run and he comes right back. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this fucking guy calls a fucking shot all the time, man. So, and, and, and you know, the, the, the... So there hasn't been a time where he said it and he didn't do it? There is, but there's very few of those. Okay. There's very few of those. But those I mean, don't stick. It's the ones that you actually do it. That's yeah, what sticks. Yeah, for sure. And he doesn't do it a lot. He doesn't say it a lot. So like, it's not like he does it every day. Ba- well, you back. can't say it a lot. <laughs> Otherwise, it, it, it takes the value out of it. It does, especially if you don't. <laughs> but he does it enough <laughs> yeah. to look like a legend. To catch one every once in a while. Yeah, that like, motherfucker like, God damn it. Well, you know, he knows his swing and, and he knows what he's feeling and... Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing because, what's up, Rhino? You know, the, um, what, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say this before Rhino says it. So at the, at the, uh, at the, at the, uh, the Aztecas game, uh, the guy was pitching really slow. Of course, that's everybody's kryptonite, right? When you pitch really super slow, you really got to sit down. And I sat back as much as I could. <laughs> and I can't remember if this has ever happened to me or it's happened a long time ago. I swung, I swung out of my shoes, I spun around, and I fucking fell. <laughs> and here's what's worse. I popped up, and I was out. Mm. That, that, if I would have pop, fouled out, I would have been, all right, cool, I got, a, I got a way to redeem myself, right? Nope. Popped out. <laughs> so I'm on the ground going, like, damn, I look stupid right now, right? And then I look up, and Rhino's holding the <laughs> Right now, behind the plate, and he's holding the camera, you know, his phone to my face, and I'm like, oh, shit. I go. So we do have video? That's what you're saying? So... No, he said okay. he wasn't recording. And I wouldn't right. have minded if he would have recorded. You know what I'm saying? I, I would have been okay with it. I mean, hey, you know, I, I made fun of, of enough people to, you know, I could be made fun of too, you know. So, I, what's up, Tim? Uh, Where did you pop it up? Uh, did you even see it? You were on the ground. <laughs> no, I saw it. First baseman <laughs> caught it. Okay. But now, my team picked me up because... The like two liter- bat- literally, they walked up and picked you up out of the box. <laughs> no, I had to, I had to pick myself up my own bootstraps. It's embarrassing. Because you, what you could have done is faked an injury, right? <laughs> right? And had them like, "Hey, I hurt hey, myself. That's uh, why I fell." <laughs> Maybe that's what Jake Odorizzi did. You know, it's kind of should I? I guess should we fake a fucking injury? Is that worse or what? Uh, you know, it was it was. Uh, I I don't know if it's worse to to fake the injury or not or. I mean, just be injured, right? Even if it's not fake, even if it's injured, like damn man, not only did I, not only did I swing out of my shoes, got hurt, and I popped out. I know we, we don't talk about MLB, but I heard this really great story uh, from Lance Berkman. He was given an interview, you know, years after he yeah. retired, and he he was playing right field, and he admitted that he forgot how many outs there were, right? So they, they made a second out. He starts trotting in. Right, he starts trotting in, realized that there was only two outs, and he just he goes to the ground, and he motions for the trainer, <laughs> right? So he's grabbing his ankle or knee, and the trainer comes out and he says, uh, "Hey, I forgot how many outs there were. Just stay stay here with me for a second. <laughs> <laughs> then he gets up, walks around, and goes back to his position. <laughs> Everything's uh, fine. Oh man, I thought that was pretty funny. No, that is, dude. Yeah. I mean, you I don't mean, want to look stupid. You don't, man. I can't tell you how many times I forget how many fucking outs there is. Uh, so I could relate to him. <laughs> yeah, stu- yes. Yeah, st- so, so I think I figured out this weekend why I get hit so much. So as as we know in the game, uh, the the catcher calls the pitches, right? <laughs> And I apologize to all the catchers that have done this too, but if, and it's really actually your pitcher's fault, right? If he throws a fucking pitch I can hit and I would hit the ball, then I wouldn't hit you. But what happens is if you pitch a ball and I miss and I swing pretty hard for it, I have a very long swing. And unfortunately, I hit the catcher. And so this weekend, I hit the catcher twice. I hit him in the mask, which is, you know, it rings your bell a little bit. But the second one, I felt bad on because I hit him in the arm Mm -hmm. and and he welted up. So that's what Stewart's talking about. You know, he's like, I'm like, I, I don't know what it is, man. I, 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 gotta, I guess I got to fix that. Well, I know what it is. It's the, you're letting go of the bat. It's that one-handed swing, right? <laughs> the bat is going to travel, you know, much further with, you know, one hand than but, you holding it with two. But you know what? I was watching other people, and I've seen people let go, you know, and have one hand. And for some reason, they don't travel as far as I do. I don't know why I do that. It's like it's it's I, and I agree, but it's I've seen people with one hand and they don't go as far as I do. So I don't I don't know what and it seemed like they might even be they swing as hard if not harder than me. And it's like why I, I keep continuing to turn. I have no idea. Uh, maybe you think you're gonna 
turn around and hit it again. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Maybe as, second second. As, yeah. <laughs> as soon as you know you're going to miss it, like your swing gets longer. Oh, man. But I apologized to him. And, and, and you know, the catcher, the catcher took it well. I mean, you know, we joked about it after the game. And I also hit, you know, my, you know, my bad to, um, who, um, who was it? Zach. Uh, Zach. Yeah, Zach. You know, I took a line drive to the head, you know, and I, you know, and, and, you know, in this game, you know, you definitely don't want to hurt, you know, people, but especially people that you know, you know, or you're good friends with, you know, and getting it, taking a line drive to the head, you know, could be pretty bad. It was a glancing blow, so. He was able to move, yeah, yeah. Right, I right. mean, for sure, because. When I saw it leave my bat, I was like, oh, that's going for his face. I mean, he was going right. But, you know, we, we're we all athletes, so we all kind of like, sh- you kind of do the, we back up a little bit. And that help, that glance helped him, yeah. you know, recover because it was coming right for his face. I mean, it, it really sounded like he got glove on it. Yeah. I thought he hit his bill of his hat, right? Yeah. Like, because like he, st- he was still standing up. So I thought, okay, you know, maybe he, um, you know, he it just, he picked up his head and it just hit the top of his hat. But... But he was enough to move back, but he said he glanced him on the back on top of the head. So well, he's he's just trying to make the play at that point, right? Yeah, dedication. Shit, Don't man. Make, <laughs> I'm, take I'm, a header. I'm glad I still got a <laughs> I still got a single out of that shit. But yeah, single home runs still didn't win. But see, we didn't win, right? Three home runs and we still didn't win. But yeah. the other thing, that, the other thing that uh, I think was kind of uh, pretty proper this weekend was, um, and I think Dominic, hopefully he joins in or somebody tag him in there, but. Dominic was uh, the butt of a lot of jokes this weekend. Um, compliments of uh, Hunter taking a very good picture of him sliding at home, and um, he looked like he was break dancing. And I think we all had fun with it. So, but I I, I like that that Dominic um, you know took it well. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's all fun. I mean, one day it's gonna be me doing something, whatever. So I mean, shit, like falling I, down I, after a swing, falling down, uh, hitting ball trick a couple of weeks ago. So <laughs> it, it's it's always somebody's time, right? So. Um, but I think that was, uh, that shit was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> it was a good picture, man. It was definitely a good picture. And the funny thing is he, he t- cause we were, we were texting back and forth and he was like, he was like, yeah, man. He goes, what's funny is like, I used to break dance and he showed me a picture very similar to that. <laughs> well, that's probably how he ended up in that position, <laughs> yeah. right? If, if you haven't already done that, I don't know how you end up like that. Uh, yeah, no, dude, I, it was, it was. I would have loved to seen the video, right? Yeah, yeah. How he ended up that way. So is that that's a video, a still from the video? No, no, that's actually it's some. I think Hunter takes photos in the okay. Ironbirds games, and sometimes he'll, you know, he mostly concentrates on his players, but sometimes he'll catch other things, and and you know, if he gets a chance, he'll share them with other people. And um, so Hunter's to blame. Hunter's to blame, but okay. it's 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 hard to it's uh it's great when you get a good action shots like that. Yeah. You know, I mean he get. Um, I actually like his photos that he takes. I mean, he takes really good, um, like, I don't know, man. You, you kind of catch this, the spirit of the game. Like, you can see the, the energy off coming off his players, you know, the, the whether they're having fun or just, you know, you could tell something great just happened right then and there. And they got, he caught that, mo- that moment. But that one was pretty fucking funny. Yeah, especially that was a big game. Yeah. You know, I mean, those guys, they're fighting, both teams fighting for playoffs. Yeah. So you know, I imagine there was a lot of high energy yeah. flowing through that game. Yeah, it's um, you know, um, it was a good battle back and forth. I think you know, and and then um, you know, they were able to you know, Ironbirds were able to battle back. I mean, they're they're a tough team. So are the Marlins, and of course, you know, um, there was you know our games too. I mean, our games you know good too. And I mean, there was a lot of good games. We're definitely gonna get into that. You know, um, uh, there's a lot of good games this weekend for sure. But it's only that, that's only that kind of top of my head that was kind of buzzing around this weekend everybody was kind of talking about you know yeah um i mean not a not a whole lot right no i, I mean, mean we, we do have a there is a game tonight um yeah that's pa- right padres and uh besides the astros game which is 13 to 4 it's a blowout with the fuck but um the padres game i don't know what the score is over there but um we got uh so padres and twins right playing, yeah about an hour and a half now so somewhat of a I mean, meaningless game, I guess. You know, Padres, they're going to be in. But, uh, you know, if they do take a loss, it might affect the seeding. That's about it. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's there's certainly... Um, uh, it says live checking on HBA. Is there a live checking on HBA? Well, I mean... Oh, via stadium. stadium, 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 stadium right? Okay. That's what I thought I was like... Because that's what I was going to do. Um, 
to see what what was going on 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 uh, uh, Stadium Cast. Because like, hey, you know, we rarely is it rarely is there a game at the same time where 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 uh, um, there's an HBA game. I mean, sometimes there's there's definitely an HHL game, but we can't always figure out the score. No wonder we only have nine people. <laughs> <laughs> Rhino says it's ten to three. Oh, okay. Ten to three, Mason Park. Mason Park. Mason. No, hold on, hold on. He's talking about something else. Yeah. You get us in, Cody. You get us in the, the view. Um, but it looks like uh, Alianza, Chris jumped in and said uh, Alianza is playing this weekend at uh, 12.45, Mason 2 for first place. So it looks like um, Alianza is, you know, doing good. Off to a good start. What's their record? What did you say? They're battling for first place this weekend, Alianza. Okay. They're playing the Breds. So, the what's who? up, the Reds? Oh, Reds. Reds. What's up, Jose? Yeah. Oh, Panthers versus Storm. Oh, she's so talking about forty plus. Oh, forty plus. Yeah. Forty plus. Yeah. Which is good. Which is good. I mean. Yeah, we're both forty. Yeah. Plus. plus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. So I got the game right here. Look at that. Oh. Nice, nice, big. Uh, that's a good camera shot. Fantastic shot! If only yeah, the if only the if managers only knew what was going on. Yeah, uh, tis 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 to the managers, Padres and Twins for not doing the scoreboard. Well, it looks like uh, who's up to bat right now? <laughs> well, Reggie? So we got Reggie batting with the bases loaded. Oh man, we might we might we might just call a grand slam on air right now. Right? It looks like Chris might no. Oh, that might be Chris. I think Chris that is okay. Chris. Yeah. Um. Hmm. So, but you know, you know, the the thing is, and actually, this, this is a good point, man. For all HBA managers that are listening, man, or listen to this, man, really, you guys got to get on that that stadium, um, the broadcast, man. I mean, it 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 adds so much value. So much, yeah. I wish I could do picture in picture, uh, on the show. <laughs> hey, actually, I got good news. I'm I'm getting fiber, AT and T fiber here in in a few weeks. Uh, they're finally upgrading my trash ass internet so that's what's kept me from doing some other cool things with adding video and things like that to the show so hopefully um um we can do more we can do more man hopefully yeah i'm I'm, I'm excited i'm like i just need more internet i just haven't i mean it's like i told the guy you know how the guy at AT at&t uh when you walk into walmart is always like hey man what kind of service provider you got i got at&t man and i want fiber i want to give you more of my money and you refuse to take it because you guys don't want to give me fiber and the guy just looks at me because, you know, everybody's always trying to run away from that guy, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I confront him. I'm like, yeah, man, I want to give you more money, but you don't want to take more of my money. So you tell me when you're going to bring fiber to my to my apartment because I'm about to move. If you guys don't. And that's what I do when Xfinity calls my house to to do their sales pitch. Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When, when are you going to be here? He's like, what do you mean? <laughs> well, my cable's not working. My internet's down. It's always down. I need you to come here to fix it, right? <laughs> that's why you're calling me. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> They quickly get off the phone. <laughs> it's like, a good trick. I, su- I suggest that. It, you I, know, I see why we're friends. We're, we're similar. <laughs> we're similar in our ways. <laughs> they quickly give me a number and just get off the phone as soon as they can. <laughs> I, I like that. Picture in picture with, ex- with express written consent of HBA Stadium Cast and its partners. <laughs> I'm going to have to get uh, Cody to do that voiceover right there, right? Yeah, that's a tall order. Oh man, what's what's up, Hector? Is Hector Hector? Are you even playing baseball anymore, man? Or are you just what are you doing? You retired? Did I miss your retirement party or what? <laughs> oh man, I haven't seen that dude play in a long time. Who's that? Hector. Oh yeah. Yeah, I play with him. Um... <laughs> it's not a wife beater, man. <laughs> it's a Cali. It's a, it's a Cali shirt, man. Well, the problem is the red well, here, here, blends into the red light. Yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna say I can see now. People think I am wearing it. No, no, man. Look. Yeah, <laughs> I can see why people are doing that. <laughs> we kind of an opposite thing, right? You like no sleeve, three quarter sleeve, no <laughs> hat, it. hat. Oh yeah, you know what? I I had I took out my red hat too to wear it. And I forgot, man. I got all caught up. What's up, Kyle? Too late now. All right, well, you, I guess we could jump into some scores, man, and see, let's see what the deal is. Yeah, I think we're through babbling on. Yeah. Uh, all right. Man, coming down to it, right? Yeah. Talked we got, about things heating up. Uh, know, one more game left, though. Yeah. Uh, so regular, well, 
there's two teams that have two games left, which and after tonight it will be two because we got the game going now. Okay. So, um, and one of them's going to be a really important game. Okay. Uh, but we'll jump into that in a second. So Hellcats and Shooters, that obviously looks like a um, forfeit, nine to zero with absolutely no stats. Right. That's what I thought too when I saw yeah, that. Yeah. Especially when they gave up or they quit early on our game. I mean, it was hot. Yeah. Uh, Ironbirds and Marlins. So, you know, we talked about that game. Huge game for both of those teams. Yeah, and, yeah. And you know, the Ironbirds pulled it off. Yeah, because I think they were chasing. I mean, the, the Ironbirds I mean, the Ironbirds were losing, and then it just, you know, a couple of good hits here and there, and then, you know. So I back. got, as far as, yeah, they both scored a run in the first inning, and then the Marlins went ahead in the third inning. And uh, Buddy Joe was pitching, too. I think he pitched like six innings. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Joe Lau, huh? Trying to get that uh, playoff eligibility. <laughs> That's what it seems like, I mean, right? you can't blame him, right? I saw that. I was like, hey, you know, he's playing a lot of these games that, uh, uh, I'm not going to say don't matter, but like games that you wouldn't bring Joe Lau into. But, right. yes, I, I Well, I, I definitely think you need him for this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And no, the no. last one. No, but I think I seen him was I don't know who he played again. I, there was somebody I was like, man, you really need Joe Lyle in this game. Hey, you, if you got to work, you got to work, right? Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, but it looks like the Ironbirds put up a three spot after Joe came out. Oh wow! And then, the, as I understand it, the Marlins had a chance to yes, uh, to, bases loaded to walk it off. To walk it off. Yeah. Yeah, it was it, 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 it's tough, man. I mean, you you had bases loaded. And you know, you you drop in a good single or a double. That's it right there. You know, you uh, you at a minimum you tie it up, right? So it allows you to continue. Yeah. yeah. But I um, mean, could have they could have walked it off, and it just. You and know. The, the Marlins out hit them nine to seven. Yeah. They did have one error. Don't know if that was costly or not. Yeah. What's up, Joey? Yeah, Joe. He pitched six innings, six strikeouts, two walks, only one earned run. Over three huts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's it's you know when you have a good pitcher like like Joe like that, you're gonna have to you had to have some good uh, you gotta get um, some good offense. Yeah. Well, they got one off of them in the first, and they g- didn't get anything else else until yeah. seventh. Yeah. Uh, Colt forty five. Kyle, what's going on with this? There's nothing in here. Oh man. Colt forty five and the Rangers. Well, we know Colt 45 won because yes, they, they came back. I mean, that was a yeah. good game. So, I'm not sure if yeah, they got They got a few home runs. I think they got two home runs that game. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, and, I, you know that, I was watching a little bit, and it was back and forth. And and that's what's, that's what's interesting about some of these games, and that's why I think it's important to have these box scores, right? Because you look at the score, and the score doesn't tell the story, right? Because when you see, like, you know, a five-run deficit, Right, because of whatever you fell apart in the last inning, it doesn't tell the score that hey you were tied or you were like down by one run the yeah. whole ninety percent of the game, eighty percent of the game, and then you lose it in the last inning. Um, it doesn't tell a story, so I think that's what's super important about um, you know having a uh, box scores, you know, keeping up with that. Yeah, I love you the know. box score. Yeah, it tells you that and the uh, score sheet, right? Yeah, it tells you every, pretty much everything you need to know. Everything you need to know, man. Especially too, it, it helps you summarize it. Like when you go through the when you go through the um, when we're going through the stats, you're able to see hey, who hit home runs, who hit some doubles, yeah. you know, strikeouts and so on and so forth. Because we got because we got to shout out the pitchers. <laughs> of course. I, I don't want I don't want Tim throwing at me. Kyle, who pitched? Uh, who started those games? Um, so let's go to the Braves. And the Avengers. Braves and Avengers. With Braves won six to five. Really? Yeah. That's okay, wait, who did the Avengers beat last week? Um somebody good, right? Yeah. Was it the Marlins? Oh, was it the was it well it was Ironbirds, wasn't it? Yeah, Ironbirds. Yes, Ironbirds. Yeah. Is that crazy? Any given Saturday, right? Any given Saturday. See, like Todd, see, like Todd says, Rangers were up going nine eight into the last inning. So, you know, even yeah, though, that's what I saw. Yeah, and then e- I see eleven. What? Yeah, oh. which eleven is still 
fairly close, oh, but yeah. it's not the not nine to eight, right? right one right, game, right? You know, and so that's what I'm saying. But it's getting those runs you need to win the game, and yep. you know that's that's critical. Yeah, very critical, very very critical. Um, the Aviator. Oh wait, no. Um, we had a home run. Need to shout out the home run to Enoch Capusano for the Braves. Okay, he went yard. I think I've seen it. Yeah, he plays on the 365. Also. He does. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations to him, man, for hitting that home run. Not an easy thing to do. Well, for some people, <laughs> uh, Cyclones. Shout out the Aviators, seven to zero. You know that uh, that was an important game for the Aviators. Was it? Because they could have gained some ground since the uh, the Marlins lost. Hmm. Because now they have to play each other. Okay. Yeah. That's going to be an important game. Uh, so no bombs. Austin uh, looks like he had a good game. He pitched, uh, pitched, pitched a complete game, three strikeouts, one walk. So he got a shutout. Shutout, but only allowed three hits. Wow. Good defense. Good defense wins games. It does. <laughs> And they out hit him thirteen to three. So, yeah, it would have been a good uh, win had the Aviators pulled pulled it out. But uh, I mean, <laughs> it looks like they never had a chance. <laughs> Sucks, man. Which I mean, facing a team like that. Yeah. And then we had to get to the last game. Like you said earlier, we had three home runs, but we still lost. Yeah, isn't that crazy. Yeah. But uh, I'll tell you why we lost. You probably already know this. So we did lose 5-9. to nine. Um, The Redbirds only had one more hit than we did. Yeah. Right? We had nine. They had ten. <laughs> but you look at the error column. <laughs> Do you know how many we had? I'm scared to know. Five. Important, important was that I, I mean, the last error we had was really important. Three run. Yeah, three yeah. run error. Yeah. You, you so know. that kind of... That just gets you out of it, right? Oh, like, deflated oh, it because yeah. because um, I think um, I think uh, what's his name um, Rigo tied it up would have tied it up had the score just stayed the same, you know. So it's 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 one of it's one of those things where you know had had um, had we kept them there, got out of that inning, um, it's you know it's a different ball game. Maybe we went to extra inning. So yeah. So, but I mean, it was it was you know good. The the thing is what we always say, right? You, the other whoever can limit the less errors, and then the other team has to capitalize on the errors, and that's what the Redbirds did. They capitalized on the errors that we made, mm-hmm. and you know, good good job on them, man. I mean, they did a extremely good job. So you know, if we can stay in the game because we're hitting the same, yeah. If they're making errors, but they didn't. Yeah. They didn't make a single error. No, shortstop was making. You know, uh, uh, Ryan over there, Ryan Cody was making some good ass plays over there. Nice, simple hops. They were not losing any baseballs in the outfield. I mean, everybody was making their plays in the outfield. Um, so it's it's um, it, it it was a good game, and and uh, you know, um, yeah, it was just up it, until that seventh inning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We did come back with two, but it's like in the eighth. But uh, yeah, by then it just got out of hand. Yeah. Uh, so Rigo went yard. Pedro Rivera. We talked about that, and Chris. Chris got him one. Kept it fair. Yeah, the first one went foul. The first one went foul, <laughs> and the second one went fair. <laughs> and it's funny because you can see in the in the in the video, and I I, I think by the way, uh, you know John did a good job. The umpire behind the plate did a good job of like getting over right on the line, and just looking down down that foul line and making sure that it stayed fair or foul. You yeah, know. Yeah. So he made the right call. So. Um, so uh, Tim, he he apologized for not being there. Um, it's okay, Tim. We, we're ha- we're <laughs> glad you weren't there. Yeah. Well, they didn't need you, I guess. Uh, yeah. Is the first thing. Second, had he been there, it would have been a nice uh, rematch, yes. right? Austin versus Tim yeah. in that playoff game. Yeah. Same pitchers. Yeah, same pitchers. Yeah. But that's that. Saturday for last Saturday. So you know, looking ahead at the standings, 
we got uh, those three teams that are still kind of competing, right? You, you got the uh, Iron Birds. They need to win out. Uh, the Aviators definitely need to win out. And the Marlins need to win out to have a chance. Man. And the Marlins play the Aviators, right? So the Aviators, they have two games left, right? They play the Shooters on Friday. That's going to be a win. It should be. Theoretically. Right? It might even come by way of a forfeit. forfeit. Yeah, I was going to say it might come by a forfeit. So that would help them out, give them some rest, and, and go in Saturday yeah. and uh, you know put up a fight. So... Yeah, I imagine who, whoever wins that game is is going to take it. Yeah. Uh, and then the Marlins, they have one more game. They play the Twins. And the Marlins are are a tough team because they've been in last or bottom seed and worked their way to the top. Yeah. You know, worked their way into the championship game. So you can't count them out. You can't count them out. And so the Ironbirds, they have to win, right, to stay where they are. And uh, they have the Padres, so that's not going to be easy. Yeah. Oh yeah, Padres. I think are on a roll right now. Man. Yeah, they've been winning a lot of games. So, man, we don't know if they're winning right now. We could know, but yeah. we don't. Shame, 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 shame. Tisk, tisk, tisk on the Padres and the Twins, and and. Is that a score update? Yeah. <laughs> Fucking goddamn. Cut somebody at the field. Yeah. No shit. Um. But you know, it's it's one of those things where um, they're on a roll, and 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 more importantly, like I said earlier, it, part of I think you know, uh, part of our jobs as as, as managers, I'm not a manager anymore, but you know, is keeping track of the score with 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 um, with, um, with the app. You know, um, it's one of the it's one of those things where not only does it help stay up with the game but too when you're trying to find a home run or a hit or something you know what inning it's in you know it was the third inning da, 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 you know where to find it and you know when when i when i screen sh screen record or screen grab whatever you want to say these home runs it just looks clean right because when you when you're watching a home run and you see the score at the bottom it makes the world of a difference right you're like oh man was that was that a home run that I'm not saying it didn't matter, but, you know, but let's say it was a home run that, you know, put you up ahead. Like, I think that's what, um, if I remember right, the Colt 45s, you know, they had a key home run um, that put them up, um, put them up over the, the Rangers, you know. But how do you know that? Well, you have the score at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So. Which they were doing a good job of that because I was watching it. Yeah. So I, I know, I know it's, I know it's tedious, but, you know, um, so let's see, uh, like I said, the game Friday, Saturday. The, oh, they got a 10 a.m. So the Aviators, they better hope they don't play Friday night because they got to turn around and play that next morning at 10. Wow. I've been there before, though, like when you have the, night, the Friday game and then the next game. Yeah, yeah but I don't understand the... I thought this was a Saturday league, but we're playing on Fridays, Tuesdays. Yeah, I mean it's it's, it's makeup games, right? Trying to trying to trying to stay control with the. Uh, yeah. I think it's what you're trying to keep control of whatever if it was rainouts or or whatever whatever caused it to happen, so that the so that the seasons don't go, so we don't run into uh, like the veteranos league where you end one day, the next weekend you start the Boom. new season. Boom. Yeah. You know, so you definitely I, need a break in there. You do, right? I mean, I, uh, we've had seasons in HBA where like it seemed like there was like what two, three week difference, and then all of a sudden you're starting the next, um, you know, you're starting the next, uh, the next season. You know, yeah. so so that is the game before ours. We play at one. Okay. So you could get there a little early and watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get there early. I'm definitely. Um, <clears throat> it won't be 10 a.m. early, but. Uh, no, no, but at we, least not for wait, me. All it, all it matters is at the end. <laughs> Unless it's a blowout, then I don't want to go early well, at all. Right? Well, we're, we're Stadium Cast subscribers, so that I think uh, we'll be able to watch a little bit and get over there and um, see the rest of the game live. So you, we can watch it safely from the from the convenience of our home and a little bit on the road. So we got the 45s. <laughs> we should be okay um, either way. And then the Ironburns, they got to yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, but, but I, I definitely, you know, um, 
No, no, no. We're coming for him. Yeah, yeah, we're coming yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're coming. Good. Hopefully, it's good. hopefully, we give you guys a good game, man. You know, it's 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 uh. I'm just looking at hypotheticals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. And and they're on a roll, man. You know, Colt Forty Five is on a roll, man. So. So we want to derail them into the playoffs. We do try, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's jump to Sunday. Okay. Is it true Hector hit a home run? Um, oh, okay. We'll go to 365, which also plays on Sunday. Um, and we will go to the first game. What's up, Gonzo? Which happens to be the Aztecas and the Vipers. And, yes, we are going to shout out a home run. So you're Hector, vouching for him? You're I'm vouching, vouching for, him? for Hector Ria. This went over the fence. It was in the park. It was a spring spirit, and it was a home run. I feel like you're being very vague there. Well, no, he hit it over. Okay, okay. But what I'm saying is, you know how there's a, the netting in left field? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, right, of course, yeah. Right. No, no, I mean, if you get over the netting, yeah. it's, it's no, a fucking shot. It's, he it's a hit shot. a ball over the yellow line, <laughs> and so it is a home run. Okay, no, no. He, he got to trot around the bases. I, I think There's the, no busting <laughs> ass to try and get it inside the parker. I think the reason the net's there is just so it doesn't hit the cars, right? Yes, So, so yes. congratulations to Hector. I guess, I it was, guess. It was a nice shot. It was a good shot. We'll, we'll go ahead and say that uh, uh, there, the Cody vouched for it because even though there was no film of it, uh, I don't know what X is doing. He's supposed to be uh, recording these games. He so. wasn't around. So. Oh, was he? No. It was a Cyclones game. Uh, but somebody was recording. The Somebody from the Vipers had a, uh, a camera GoPro? on the net. Yeah. Okay. It got knocked down by a foul ball once because it was directly behind the catcher. Oh, so, and that's why like, it literally hit it or it hit the yes. fence? No, it hit the the phone, and the phone dropped to the ground. Oh, shit. Hopefully the phone's okay. Yeah. Um, real quick, I want to shout out uh, Gonzo here, Adrian. Uh, he's um, he started his little side business where he's, he's, he's making these custom shoes, um, and he's doing it for a couple of these um, uh, uh I guess future stars, I guess up and coming prospects in the MLB. So he's 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 I don't know I don't know how uh, and he, I guess he can chime in and say how he's connecting with these future stars, future prospects. But he's doing these custom cleats for these guys, and uh, I don't know I don't know if he does this for us regular Joe Schmoes. I don't know if that business is open for him. I don't know if that business. I don't he's know if too we, too busy for that. Yeah right? yeah yeah. I exactly. I don't know if he's too busy for us little guys, but. Um, if he's doing it, I mean, if he's doing it, shout it out, Adrian, if you're doing it, uh, um, you know, for other people, for nobodies, or if you're just doing it for somebody's. <laughs> so, uh, so that game, the Aztecas won 10 to two, uh, Jose pitched a great game, six innings, 11 strikeouts, uh, two walks, two hits. Hey, hold on one second here. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me comment on Jonathan. Do jo it. Jonathan. The reason we don't talk about Oretta is because they don't give us the info. Um, because Jordan has is having a trash ass season. He now he doesn't want to give me no standings. He doesn't want to give me no scores. He doesn't want to give me any of that shit. You know. But when he was hot on the streets, oh man, I got every standing. He I'm sure he let me know that he was number one and and this and that. So remember, I rely we rely on you guys to give us this info, right? This this show is is is, is a community thing, right? So. If 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 uh, we're using the internet to get this information, right? So uh, I think he gets the point now. <laughs> <laughs> so you get my boy, right, bro? So uh, so you know if, if you know, like I think I was getting some information too from uh, Liga Internacional. Um, I'm not getting much information from either from uh, Metropolitana. So. Whatever you whatever you guys can provide, bro. Like you 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 send it to us, and it's gonna get shouted out. But if if I, you know the thing you gotta remember, it's, these other leagues don't have websites. You know, right now we're, we're going through you know 365, HHL, uh, HBA, all those ha are on websites. We're able to grab them. But I'd be more than happy. <laughs> okay, bitch, like, um, I'd be more than happy to talk about Triple A Red man, because I mean it's 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 a very competitive league, and um, there's good there's good games. I mean. You know, you got uh, you know the hot shots are back. You know, back at it again, and and um, you know, I definitely love to talk about those scores and different things like that. So if you got anybody out there that can throw it out, man, just let me know. So sorry, Cody. No, no, 
<clears throat> you uh, you said your piece. I said my piece, sorry. And that's important. Yeah. Uh, where did I leave off? You, you said you had your Aztecas and then... And uh, the Vipers, yeah. Vipers, yeah. Yeah, so 10 to 2, yes. And Jose Vasquez. I, I mentioned him. He pitched a good game. Complete game? Uh, Six innings. Okay. 11 Ks, two walks. Wow. Two hits. Sweet. Um, Then we had another home run. Not in that game. Starting okay. next game. Lumberjacks beat the Drillers 10 to 5. Chris Henson for the Lumberjacks. When nice. Walked. Nice. Uh, again, don't know where or how. But, uh, hey, it's a home run. Yeah. You either got to hit the ball hard or be really fast, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Or have a good scorekeeper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vaqueros beat the Diablos 11-5. to five. No stats there. Hitmen over the Derricks 9-4. to four. The Gamblers beat the Gladiators 14-10. to 10. How many games left in that season? There is only one game left. Okay, so what's the standings? Are we going to get the standings? Uh, I was about to. Oh, cool. But, yes, let's do that. So... Yeah, one game left. Uh, Aztecas 10 and 0, Vaqueros 8 2, Lumberjacks 7 3, Hitmen 7 4, Gamblers are 6 and 5, Gladiators 5 6, Derricks 4 and 6, Vipers 3 7, Los Diablos 1 and 9, Drillers 0 and 9. Oh, shit. So, uh, I don't know the playoff structure in that league, division, whatever you want to call it. 10 teams, I would imagine. At least six, maybe eight. Maybe everybody? Probably eight. I would say eight. Okay. Right? Minimum. Because that way you can do two two, uh, two rounds of playoffs plus a championship game. Right? Yeah. yeah. Eight teams. You drive it down to I mean, four. Yeah, that's how. And you drive it down to two. That's how Saturday does it. So. Yeah. So I, I got to think eight teams. Okay. But we'll see. Um, that was 365, so let's get into Sunday League. All these games. Cyclones beat the Natural 6-2 to two without you, I believe. Yeah. Because you guys played right after us. Yes. And did not see you. Yeah, no, no I, I didn't go. No, you did not, because you are <laughs> not in the lineup here. <laughs> Unless you were there, but you didn't get in at bat, which I don't see that happening. Yeah, no, no, I didn't go. Uh, Coulter had a complete game, four strikeouts, two walks, with 123 pitches. Coulter what? 123 pitches, which, you know, sounds about right. Yeah, he has Coulter, man. He's or that sounds a little light for him. <laughs> he, he was part-time pitcher that night, right? Yeah. Uh, so you guys got the win. Uh, no home runs, it looks like. The yard goes <laughs> one yet again against the Aces. Uh, Raul had a home run. No surprise there. Yeah, along with Cole. And yeah. uh, I think Aces, yeah, they had a home run. Jose Mendoza? Oh, nice. Yeah. I know that. Um, oh, it looks like Tim got the ball for two innings. Last innings or beginning innings? Does not tell me that. Oh, okay. I guess he could chime in. I'm sure he probably closed it out. Usually, I think usually the um, coach chair will, you know, take his starter. Yeah. You know, five, six, four, five, six innings. Yeah. I d well, okay, because uh, Corey Carter pitched six innings, so I doubt he has an opener, <laughs> right? Yeah, no. He, he doesn't, doesn't do seem like the kind of coach that would do that. No. That's I, too progressive. It is. He's old school and it works. Yeah. He said the end, yeah. Um, so they continue to roll. And then the Coastal beat the Bobcats 10 to 3. And, uh, no home runs there. Damn. But, the, you know, Bobcats got their stats up. So I wonder what Coastal team, it, we don't know that either. No. No, I, I, somebody can chime in, but I, I don't know. I didn't see the game to see who it was. Oh, you know what? I think it was the, oh, you know what it was? I know it was. It was a stealth. And okay. They, they turned a triple play. Oh. The first inning. Interesting. Yeah. They they, uh, they hit uh, a line drive to Banda, shortstop, and he threw it to second. So the runner, you know, obviously, I think they were on the move. So runner was like already by third, right, when the, when the ball got caught. Or 
whatever when he realized what happened and then they threw it to um back to first right because the guy's running the second uh, yeah right and then it was so fucking fast that the guy was still running it out to first they still beat that throw too i mean good lord they still, <laughs> yeah. did he give up like uh no he, like he looked like he was running through huh yeah that uh it must have developed uh pretty quickly it did it, it really it really did i mean it was it was but it, it must have been after they got two runs because they got two runs in the first uh yeah yeah, yeah. that's probably what it was yeah I mean, they closed it out. I mean, it was just, yeah, you're right. It probably got two runs, and then they closed it out. So, as far as uh, standings there, I imagine the Yard Goats are up there at 11-1. and one. Uh, It's funny, the Coastal, even though they're different teams, have, ha, is, well, it's in here as a ranking, right? Yeah, what are they so ranking? So, Coastal is in second place at 7-3. and three. <laughs> So... That begs a question: What team goes to the playoffs, or are they even doing that? They're not. They're not. They're not playoff eligible. Okay, so we're just gonna skip them. Uh, Aces. Yeah. So the next team is five hundred. Aces are five and five. Cyclones are five and six. Bobcats two and eight. Naturals two and nine. Yeah. Wow. Yard goats and coastal. Yeah, yard goats carrying the league. You know, um, it's it's. I think it's it's. It, I think it's a good thing for for Houston baseball to have this like interleague play. Uh, I think it'd be good to have maybe the eighteen plus eighteen plus from from Houston Hardball kind of go at it too. I think it'd be good. Um, it, shoot, shit, you may you may even sneak in maybe some Loretta in there. You know what I mean? You know, so I I think that um, yeah, they just do like an open invitation. Yeah. I really think that it could, um, maybe maybe they start something. Maybe, maybe HBA started something kind of new. Like, hey, maybe they get invited to go play over there, and you go play over there for whatever league for one game or whatever. So, so you guys still have three more weeks. Is that what it, yeah, That's what it looks like? I think we got more games. Hmm. Yeah, it would appear so. Yeah. I guess just because there's less teams. Yeah. Right. I don't know. You play everybody three times. Yeah, there's there's less teams, but I think I think they get a longer a longer season. Okay. Be, there is less teams, but I think they get a longer season. I think I think we get a longer season because there's only one season. There's not a summer and fall. All right. So yeah, three more weeks. That gives you guys a chance to get above five hundred. I hope so, man. We've been. A little tough, man. I mean, we've had some good games. It's hard to win without you, right? <laughs> uh, we've had some close games, man, and uh, you know we we battled it out, but just come short up, come short. Uh, coming up short, yeah, that's that's a good excuse in baseball. Yeah, just right. Coming up just, just a little, just too little short. short. Game of inches, right? Um, yeah, I'm I'm. Uh, Bo's right. I'm, 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 uh, David. I'm pinning the the comments. I'm just doing random comments. What I don't know what it looks like in you guys' end. I don't know if it looks stupid, but I'm pinning certain comments that are cool. I guess. How does it look? On, when I pin it, what does it look like? Looks like that. Okay, so if I pin, uh, if we're I pin, gonna ex pardon us. We're going to experiment a little bit here. Yeah. I just pinned a comment, so let's see. How, which way does it go? Like this. Oh yeah. yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, so it yeah. just stays right there. I got you. Yeah, but eventually it'll go away. Well, I I'll, I'll unpin it. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so you pin and then you unpin. Yeah. Do you I'll not have enough to do? <laughs> <laughs> I just some of these comments I don't want them to get snuck by. Gotcha. Like, like maybe we could pin. Um, maybe we can pin. Um, yeah, there's not a lot going on, so uh, let's <laughs> let the people be heard. Let's, let's, I, I just want to know where the Thunder talk went. Yeah. Thunder's struggling right now, man. Thunder is very... We'll get into H, We're going into HHL, right? Yeah, I've got it up here. Okay, so yeah, Thunder's struggling right now. Um, but, you know, we've seen the Thunder many years. They've been in the league as mm -hmm. long as you and I. Um, I tell you when they don't struggle, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah that's, they certainly do not. Suddenly do not. So, <laughs> Bo says, pin this. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't like his tone. I don't like his tone. 
I wonder if he could attach an image what, what it would be. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> hey, pin this. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's fucking oh, funny. Uh, uh, that one hurt. Oh, man. Okay. All right, where the hell am I at here? Uh, 30 and up, shall we? Yeah. That's it seems to be the most popular, right? It is. That's just because, uh... <laughs> oh, Carlos chimed in. See, we got him out of the... We got uh, him out of the... Out of the cave? We got him out of the cave, see? We say a little bit of something. He must have heard it, like, Thunder. Who's talking shit? Thunder's who's talking? radiating. Yeah, who's talking Papa's over here? <laughs> uh, so we'll go back to last Wednesday. The Pelicans. Pelicans beat the Panthers 8-5. to five. Nice. And Mason, do we got any stats? Hell no. Hell no. Come on, Kamish. Uh, JS Texas beat the Goodfellas. Did see that. No, I saw that live. Yep. <laughs> uh, there was a home run. Duke, uh, Duke hit a shot. On his birthday. On his birthday, mind you. And here's what's crazy. Not only did he hit it on his birthday, but they walked him, intentionally walked him on his previous at bat. Right. H having never f been at the plate yeah. at that game. Yeah. His first at bat, they intentionally walk him, and then the second at bat, boom, he goes yard. So they were right to to do that. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. I mean, intimidation factor. I mean, I know what they were thinking. It was first base was open. Hey, let's. Well, of course, strategy, yeah. right? Yeah, let's set up a force here. Yeah. Um. And I think Buckaloo made him pay for it. Well, I don't. I think so. What happened after that? Remember, we told them, "Hey, make him pay." Yeah, I, don't, and I think I, he got a hit. Or you mean when he got hit? No, no, no. He, he, he. he so he hit, he got a hit, and he scored a couple guys. Oh, did he? Okay. Yeah, after they walked him. Okay. Then he got the second, and then he gets hit. Then he gets hit. Yeah. He just wanted to end the inning. That's what he wanted to do. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he got hit twice this season. But He's yeah. just too fast. Right? I, and I, I'm too fast or not fast enough, however you want to look at that. <laughs> Maybe he should have a delayed start. Maybe that should be his thing. Um. But you know, but you know, it's kind of cool, man. Very, very few of us, even if you've hit a home run before, very few of us can hit a home run on our birthday. So, the fact that the the you know you yeah things have to line up right. You have to have that right pitch, that right swing. You have to have the 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 game has to be on that day, right? So, worked out good for Duke. So happy birthday to him. Yep, nice job. Friday, Friday the thirteenth. Glad we didn't play on that day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> didn't go so well for the Pelicans. No, no. Friday the thirteenth was not good to the Pelicans. Uh, <laughs> they did lose to the Diablos six to one, and it was not good to the uh, Armadillos as well. Then again, I'm not sure any day is. Well, they did get. They do have a win. Oh, they do. Yeah, uh, somewhere where that we missed something because uh, Tim told me that they beat the Pelicans. Oh, okay. Dave, uh, you want to comment on that? Yeah, David, what happened there? <laughs> uh, what's going on there? Is it, I think that's why he said fucking Juan. <laughs> oh, could be. <laughs> which, which I don't blame him because when I first heard oh, that. Oh, here it is. It was Monday. Uh, it was the last game I was going to look at. Oh, got you, got you, yeah. So, yeah, the Armadillos beat them 5-3. to three. Yeah. But, I, you know, I will say this. The Armadillos are a different team uh, because they put up a, a game against us, too. Yeah, a really good game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um you know, Timothy went out and got some guys. Yeah. Put them in the right place, and uh, they got a little more competitive. Yeah. So it was up and down, back and forth. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a, 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 a good the, – the pitcher was good. The hitting was good. So, yeah, they look good. So – and that's the thing, man, right? I mean, like, you know – we we've been we've been on the lower end of those teams, right? You know, right now we're on a good team, but we've been on the you know Toros, Twins, whatever. Um, 
and you know you have to restructure you have to kind of rebuild and, and, and sometimes you know some years we can't i mean how many times i remember that season we're like hey man even the umpires like damn man, you guys got better like what you guys do <laughs> you know when the umpires notice that you're doing better you're doing something good yeah exactly so uh congratulations to the armadillos and hopefully they keep going uh, as far as the standings, JS Texas seven and two, Panther seven and three, Sultana six and three, Pelicans at five hundred, five and five, Diablos four and five. There's the Thunder four and six. And Thunder's tied with Goodfellas four and six. Oh, okay. And there's that win one and eight for the Armadillos. Yeah, David said uh, didn't have three or four players. Hats off to the. I don't know. I don't know why I did not associate Dillos to Armadillos. <laughs> when I said Dillos, I'm like, what? What do you mean by Dillos? Uh, it's probably because you're from California. <laughs> Are there Armadillos in California? No, I didn't think so. Yeah, I think it's a Texas thing. Yeah, I don't think I've. I think I've seen one, maybe two, alive. Because usually it's on the side of the road they're dead. You yeah. Know? So I heard they're pretty. Um. Uh. I don't want to say vicious, but they're they, they will attack you. Is that true? Or maybe uh, maybe not. Maybe no, I, even... I've never no, I've never felt that way. Okay, all right, maybe they're like a possum where you can sneak up on them. Oh no shit. Yeah. Okay. Because they don't see very well, but they hear well. So if you're quiet, you sneak up on them. <laughs> but I don't. I don't know if I want to surprise <laughs> one. That's actually an armadillo right there. Look at them. From reliant. Huh. That's. Got to be some kind of sign. <laughs> so yes, 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 David. I thought you were trying to say dildos. <laughs> I had to like wait. I had to look at the girl. Like, oh, dildos. Okay, I see. I see. <laughs> I thought he was talking shit. <laughs> oh man, so, yeah. See, Bo, Bo, Bo even got like wait, David, It's not even ten o'clock, and we're already talking about it. Um, <laughs> I, hey, that's uh, hey, adult ten swim. o'clock is, is adult, after hours. That's adult swim, man. You mentioned sex toys at that point <laughs> and after. Is, is that one? Do you remember Adult Swim on? Uh, sure. On uh, what the hell was it? The Cartoon, Cartoon Network. Network. Was yeah. it after ten? Uh, or was it nine? Maybe. I. I but it, I know at some like, point it was all day, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I think it was late night, ten, eleven. Yeah, adult late. Swim, man. So my bad guys read that a little wrong. You just can't tell with some of you guys' comments, man. Uh, that is true. That's probably what you know Jose wanted to pin it on. <laughs> <laughs> to pin this. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, forty and up. Forty and up. Let's go. The let's go back to Tuesday. Hurricanes won big against the Panthers. What a surprise! Eighteen to three. Storm beat the Angels. Really? Nine to eight. That's interesting. That's a close game. Nine yeah. to eight. Huh. No stats though, but yeah. Uh, Thursday. Twenty-one to four. Hurricanes over the Panthers. Damn. So these teams played each other again, Tuesday then Thursday. <laughs> so the Angels got a little payback at fifteen to four over the Storm. Which I think I think. If, and then there's a couple games tonight. Right, I I think it's Hurricanes and Angels tonight, huh? Yes. If anybody knows the score, shout it That's out, man. What Rhino was talking about, huh? Yeah. Well, no, he was actually talking about a. Uh, oh, not, not, oh, Mason, the Panthers and Stormer. At yes, Mason. yes, yes. So I'd like to, if anybody knows a score from um, uh, Hurricanes and Angels, let us know. That'd be cool to know. Twelve and one Hurricanes, and then who the fuck did this to? Uh, I'd probably gonna be Angels, huh? Probably. Because I think they went like two or three seasons. Yeah. Like, Undefeated, yeah. And, and they I, lost early in their season. But you know when I look at their their squad, man, they they got they got some OGs. I mean, they got a lot of good players. I mean, they they got an all star team of players, and which would be nice to, you know, carry that into a traveling team. Yeah, you know. they lost to the Angels. Cause you know, forty is the right age to travel, right? They, these young dudes don't got the traveling money. It's, it's these old guys like us. Or maybe the time off work, right? Well, that too, right? Yeah. You're already a little bit more established in your forties. You got PTO, and uh, you got the money. So, um, these guys, you know. Young guys want to spend it on Jordans and NFTs. <laughs> and bats. <laughs> and bats. It's just, so there's only like, what, four or five teams in the 40 and up. And they're, they're playing each other like every other game. 
One, two, three, four. You know, but it's five times the angels and the hurricanes so face each other. That's a good topic. Let me ask you this. So you know the guys. You see them. So what do you, what do you think? What, what's better to have? I can, I can play you three, four times in a season, or I play you once and one and done. Well, I mean, I mean, I see why they play each other because there's no, only a couple teams. But but, but let's just, let's just forget about that. The, the forget about that. There's not enough teams or too many teams. What do you prefer? Do you prefer that you can you can see a team three or four times, and so that you can get used to it and they get used to you, or hey, one and done? Because that's what it is in Saturday League, right? Saturday League is almost one and done, and, and then you got um, other leagues we're in. You play them a few times. Well, you know, there's pros and cons to both. What do you prefer? This, this, I don't this. really have a preference. Hey, I mean, I like the get idea. Get off the fence. Get off the fence. I like the idea of playing multiple teams, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, because it does get boring playing the same team over and over. Yeah. You know, that's kind of what was happening in the 30 and up. You know, it's like you're playing the same two teams every other week. Yeah. Uh, I, get, I like variety. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, David says two's a good number. I think that's a good number. Two's good. Yeah. Two's, two's a good number. Maybe. maybe yeah. But, I mean, you can, can't really complain if you're forced into playing someone six times just because of the, the amount of teams. No, no, you can't. But, yeah. but again, that playing in multiple leagues allows you to do that, right? Like So, like, all right, this league, I, I see these guys a bunch of times. Yeah. Cool. And this other league, I only see them once, twice, maybe three times. So, it, it, that's what I'm saying. It's, I agree with you. There's, there's two... Um, uh, I I think there's two there's good pros and cons to both sides. I mean I, I really don't know. For me, I think two to three times would be good, and still have the amount of games we have. But I don't know what that number of teams looks like. You know. So it gives it gives the team hope, right? So if you face a really good team enough times, and you you know you start to pick up on things, you might catch a win, and that's exactly what the Angels did. Or you get beat up by the same team. <laughs> so, okay, in, in the series, right, they're playing five games. If the, the hurricane wins, you know, four out of five. Yeah, like, then, yeah you're going to get beat up by the what's the, uh, yeah, what's the point? It's tough to brag about that game. I mean, it is. It'd be, it'd be like, you know, again, you know, like, I, you know, Thunder's not having such a hot season, but it'd be like playing them over and over and over, and you're kind of sitting there. Like damn, I gotta get beat up again. Like damn, yeah. man, let me get a couple wins in there before I get beat up again. Or, or you let's say you're playing, you, you know. You're or playing. in our case, we get beat up, but we have to go play them to win a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Right? I think yeah. I think we beat them twice already. And, and well, and, we beat the same two teams twice, and that's it. That's it, man. We got their number, and and that's that's because when you when you see who beats who, you kind of like that don't make sense. But they beat this other team, and that team beat this other team, so. Again, that's why I, I like the variety, right? Uh, you know, where kind of like Carlos's comment here, you know, the Hurricanes, you know, they're just, they're a solid team, and it's almost like a guaranteed win. So it's like, okay, well, you're going to lose the Hurricanes, but who can you beat somebody else, you know? What other teams can you beat? Um, but, you know. 35 and up, you still got to deal with the Hurricanes. How are they doing there? They're doing great. Um, let's see. So last Sunday they beat the Cyclones, sixteen to thirteen. Mm. Cyclones are hanging tough. Expos beat the Astros, ten to nine. Let's see if we got any stats on here. No, of course not. Dean's not doing stats. Oh, he's on his paper book, I'm right, sure. Right, I'm sh telling him send it to it to you. <laughs> uh, we look at the standings, and I'm sure they're, yep, still seven and zero oh and one. So they tied with somebody. And it's funny because it drops down again, seven and zero, oh, and then four and three, in <laughs> second place. So they they play Sunday and then twice a week. So thirty five plays on Sunday and then forty plus plays twice a week or once a week. Twice a week because there's only what four teams. So yeah, mm. you're playing Tuesday and Thursday, which is why you see everybody all the time. Yeah. But I I don't know how many guys have to drop off because they're not forty. Yeah. Yeah, that's. that's I would imagine not many. Yeah. But I mean, there's three games a week right there, just in HHL. That's it, man. That's a lot. That's a lot of baseball. Yeah, could you imagine throwing in Saturday? <laughs> yeah. 
That's, that's a lot of baseball. But, you know, that's Houston just has a lot of baseball, man. I hope it continues like that way. You know? So they got a couple more. Looks like everybody's going to be wrapping up close to the same. They only have two more uh, weeks. So there should be a lot of playoffs going on at the same time. Hopefully they don't interfere with one another, but they, they typically do. They do. And so it's going to be interesting. Oh, that's going to factor in who's going to play with what. I mean, we you know I we had to miss a couple HBA games because we were playing playoffs and championship in in uh, the Aztecas League. You know, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, Veteranos League. You know, so it's just um, <laughs> he said they can get a fake idea La Pulga. <laughs> of course, cause I, no, I will not try again because I wasn't talking to you. Get off my show. <laughs> Siri jumped in. Yes, she did. Uh, open division looks the same. Yeah. Athletics five and one. Bears five and two. Five and four for the Roughnecks. Four and four for the Desperados and the Outcasts are zero oh and eight. Nothing new here. Man, forty. Yeah, I, I, and I definitely, you know, uh, would love to talk about. Obrera, but you know, I know, I know. I think the um, if I remember some of the postings, the Hot Shots won twice this week. Won their double header. Alianza won the double header. Um, I don't know who else won their double header. And then, um, obviously, let's see this. Uh, let me try to see this weekend. We have um, in the um, uh, Obrera in the Obrera League. Um, let's see. From this last weekend, you know, we had the um, Mason won Sox versus Thunder. Thunder won. Cardinales versus Indios. Uh, Cardinales won. Uh, Chamos versus Gigantes. Chamos won. Red Sox versus Dodgers. Um, Dodgers won. And Nationals versus Aztecas. Um, Aztecas won. And Veracruz versus Mexico. Mexico won. So that's what, the... What is this? This is Veterano League. Oh, so the Aztecas won... Without you? No, I was there. Oh, you were there. Yeah. Even with my fucked up swing. Oh, okay. Oh, that, <laughs> right. That that was the game. That was the game. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just, uh, it was a hot day too, man. I just really wasn't, I don't know. It was, it was hard to get into a gym. That's, that's the one where Pedro hit the home run. And then we had, and I don't know if anybody's here from the Azteca, some Veteranos League, but. Um, one of the six, no. One of the six, <laughs> probably not. Uh, but there was um, two, two. Oh, let's see, let's see, we got Wilson calling in. Hey, Wilson, what's up, man? What's going on, brother? How you doing? You're on the show, man. I'm watching the show. I never missed that show. I was watching SPN. I say. Hold on, let me watch Armando. <laughs> there you go, man. Damn, we beat SP ESPN. That's cool, man. I dig yeah. it. Yeah. How you doing, man? Good, good, man. I just feel your home getting ready to go to sleep. You know, I have to work tomorrow for in the morning. Oh, okay. I have to wake up. Mm -hmm. Who are you playing with? Uh, uh, who are you playing with nowadays? Well, now I just waiting for the contract. Now I am like a free agent. I just waiting. They don't want to pay me too much money. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm sure. There's, I'm sure there's a lot of teams that like to pick you, but yeah, maybe they can't afford you. That's probably what it is. <laughs> yeah, a lot of a lot of people. You know, but honestly, it's because of the time. You know, I've been working, and a lot of people. You know, they want me to go play and join team. But you know, when you're working and spend time with the family and everything, so it's hard. But yeah. I come back. I come back probably uh, next month. I'm gonna start playing. Awesome, awesome. Um, you know, I'm definitely. Uh, I'm sure you're gonna be looking. You know, you, you got to get ready for the classic, right? I mean, you got you got to. Uh, you got you got to get back in there again, right? Yeah, yeah. I need to go back. And, and now my son is four year old, so I have to train him too. So, you know, so. Uh, boy, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back soon. I miss the game, but it's not the same. Man, last time that I played with Ramon. Mm -hmm. With Carlos Ramon, I got injured, man. I broke my 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 elbow. I had a broken bone. Mm. Oh wow! Last year in November, yeah. Wow! Mm -hmm. How'd that happen? 
I mean, you know, stupid mistake that I thought I was before, you know, like a 20-year-old or 20-year-old, <laughs> oh, you know. Yeah. I tried to slide, you know, uh, and, and slide wrong, you know. I tried to be like Javi Baez, like Javier <laughs> Baez, Mago. El Mago, yeah, that's right, dude, El Mago. Yeah, I tried to be like that. I am too old now. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, it happens, man. I mean, I think we've all... <laughs> We've all done some dumb things. We're like, oh, come on, man. Like, you know, we got to be a little bit more that, You regret it instantly. Yes. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah now I'm not going to steal any more base. I'm just going to hit. <laughs> just hit home runs, I'm gonna man. I'm going to take my time to run to fur base. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you hit home runs, you just can jog around the bases, man. No big deal, you know? Don't need to slide. <laughs> yeah. <Yep>. Yeah. <laughs> Just be, just be like Jimmy Rivera, you know. Just hit home runs, man. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's that, that's one on the Jimmy Rivera. He's a power hitter, man. He's one of the most. I don't know who always, who can hit a ball better than him in Houston. I don't know. I think he's one of the best power hitters that we have right now in that league, right? Yeah, yeah. Who, who is a power hitter right now besides him? I mean, you got uh, you got Boule. I mean, I don't know if Boule plays in there, but I know Boule's hit a few home runs in in, in Saturday League, and I mean that dude can hit. Uh, but but I think I think Jimmy uh, is one of those players that if he tells you he's gonna hit a home run, there's a good chance he's gonna hit a home run. You know, mm-hmm. so that's uh you know he, like you said, he's a really good ball player. Uh, really, and, and he's and, and he's a good teammate. I, I like him. You know. Oh yeah, yeah. He's a good, good person. Yeah, good team. Yeah. You know, he's so a, yeah. we try to motivate everybody. Yeah, yeah. He's for funny. Sure. Yeah, he is, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, definitely, man. But no, it's good hearing from you, man. I'm, I'm glad you called in. I mean, uh, it's been, uh, it's been a while. Pre- right. Appreciate you tuning in, man. And and um, when you when you, you know, if you're gonna play, if you when you play a rata, man, and you know, you, you want to shout out the the Ramona score, just let us know, man, because like I said, I just don't have enough people telling me about, you know, enough about the that league to to talk about it, because I definitely there's a lot of good teams, a lot of good players, you know. La La Pulga, yeah, yeah. what is that? Uh, flea market. La, uh, gotcha. It's a flea market. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mexican flea market. You can buy anything right there. <laughs> anything. Yeah, all right. You want to be older? You want to be younger? You can buy whatever they you want. It, right? yeah, they got you it. can be like like the like the Dominican guy in Dominican Republic. They twenty two year old and they get a birth certificate <laughs> for sitting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The flea markets yeah. are dangerous right now, though, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> you better you better go strapped. <laughs> Get yourself in a shootout. Yeah, yeah, for sure, man. So you know, it's yeah. it's um, no, but it's but it's good, man. I mean, I'm I'm glad you called in. And if I remember right, you you guys won the 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 the, the coastal, right? The coastal classic, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. When, when you available, let me know. I'm gonna bring the trophies to your show. Oh, okay, so cool. Let me know what day you want me to go there. You know, and I can go. Um, awesome, awesome. Yeah, 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 dude. That's go. cool, man. Yeah, I mean it's it's a uh, you know everybody in Houston looks forward to that to that uh, to that classic man. I mean it's it's uh, everybody talks about it. So hopefully, hopefully this this no, I mean next well beginning of next year, yeah, yeah. Uh, 2023. Yeah, I don't huh? know because the U.S. want to tell revenge. They want they're gonna bring everybody from Triple A, <laughs> so they want to tell revenge. So. Yeah, I know. So I man. Good luck to everybody. <laughs> well, and and, and 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 like I said, Wilson, last in the last uh, when I was talking about the classic. Uh, it's gonna get to the point where all the Houston players are just watching the game because everybody's bringing in Triple A players, they're bringing in you know minor league players, and so we're all just gonna be watching and coaching. <laughs> That's what it's gonna come down uh-huh. to. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. but you know, but again, man, you know, when when I'll let you know when you're to come, all you know, right, come bro. down. I appreciate you calling. In. We'll talk to you later. All right, no problem, bro. Take all right. care. All right, you too. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, that's cool, man. He called in. But uh, yeah, um, the pool guy is a flea market, man. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can find almost anything, anything and everything there. Um, things you shouldn't be buying there, you could probably be buy there. You know, bought it, there. You can even find trouble, evidently. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> even when you're not looking for it. And, and yeah, David, you might be able to find an arm there. Yeah, they, they help you out there. Um, I don't know if I'd would entr- trust someone to install that, but uh, <laughs> at least not there. Maybe you go somewhere else to get it installed, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what were we talking about? We we're getting into um, we finished HHL, right? We got HHL. We got um, oh, three did three sixty five. We were just we, rambling. We were, okay, so we're ready to wrap it up then, man. We already got an hour and eighteen minutes in. So yeah, you know, not much tonight. Just you and I. That's it. We'll, we'll, we'll figure. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Once I get once I a get calm H- Tuesday. 
Once I get AT and T fiber, it's gonna be different. Yeah. It's gonna be different, man. Hey, wait. Don't be hyping it up now. <laughs> I'm it's gonna be a letdown. Yeah, that's true. Good point. Good point. <laughs> I mean, I just man, you know, it's the, the kind of trash ass internet I got, it, it just doesn't let you do anything. That's why you have to be on Verizon. And I got to be right? on my Wi Fi, man. Like if you're struggling to edit and post videos now, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. You, you're gonna have time to do all this other stuff once you get fiber. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm just adding more work to myself. They're gonna be like, hey, well, you said you got fiber now, maybe you could do this. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But, um, I'm gonna I search for an intern or something. You know what? <laughs> It's funny you said that. I started to think about that. Man, dude, it'd be cool if I get somebody out there like, yeah, like an like an intern, somebody to help out the show, man, because it's definitely getting a little more, um, uh, a little more tedious, a little more more involved, you know. A lot, but of, it's, a lot of tasks. Yeah, I mean, we we got you know, like I told you today, we got um, you know, we might do that. We're gonna probably do the home run derby there for for Houston Harbaugh here. I think it's June or July. Was it June or July? July. July. So we got the. You know, you sent me that, and I was going through it. So there's a futures game, is that right? Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Do yeah. we have any info on that? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. There's a certain age group, okay, right? That that they're doing a futures kind of game on. I forget, it's like 18 to 25, but I could be wrong. Don't misquote me. But there, there we'll, we'll as more information as I get more information, then um, um, you know, I'll, we'll be posting it. But yeah, there's gonna be a futures game. It's pretty cool. Okay. I did a poster for it, so I'll be looking for that soon for that. Um, coming out from uh, Houston Harbaugh. Two all-star games, home run derby. Yeah. All in the same day. All in the same day. It's, it's going to be a long day. It is, it is. And then drafts the next day, right? Is it the next I day? I don't know. That's how it was last time. I hope not, man. But definitely, you know, um, I, I, I was, I'm not necessarily planning to be there all day, but it'd be, you know, we're going to we're gonna do the, the home run derby, but... If we go, if we hang out out there all day, man, or at least most of the day, just check out the games. I'm taking out a tent. I'm bringing some food. Like we're gonna do it right. Like we're gonna. I wish it was. I kind of wish it was like At the Mexican. All? Yeah, so we could barbecue or some shit. <laughs> I'm sure they would allow it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but course, the All Star Games at Mall. Is it? Well, I, right. No, no, no. It, I think it's at Northland. Oh, okay. Home so, run Derby at Northland. Man, that's a good point. I think it's in Northland, man. Why not? Yeah. Make it there. Make it there. Make it, make it tough. Make it tough. Uh, make it pull happy. You'll, you'll probably have a more censored just off the plate because <laughs> I won't be able to uh, drop my F-bombs over there. So uh, it'll have to be a, oh, bam, or something <laughs> like that. Right? Oh, shucks. Look at him. Look at the guy go. <laughs> but I think I think it'll be cool, man. And then um, I just ordered me the pocket radar, so uh, we'll, we'll be uh, – Seeing how slow these guys throw or how hard these guys throw. <laughs> or how fast the ball's coming off the bat. There we go. Get some good stats. Get some good stats there. We'll even make some of them up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's the first guy on a Tuesday that wears an odd number jersey to hit a home run. <laughs> That's it. Stats don't lie. <laughs> stats don't lie. It's a, it'll be a, 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 real, a real stat. So, um... We'll see. We'll see how it goes, man. And uh, but I appreciate you guys tuning in for the few that tuned in tonight. Um, anything else, Cody? No, no. Like I said, not a whole lot going on. But uh, you know, it's coming down to the wire, big game for yeah. the uh, Marlins and the Aviators. Stay so tuned. Good, good stay tuned. This, yeah, stay tuned this weekend. And and uh, you know, uh, next Tuesday will be a good show because the, I mean, almost everybody will be done with their with their regular season games and the they seating. They will be done. Yeah, they will be done. So we'll have the seating. And it'll be a, a, some good talk. Hey Tim, you came in way too late, man. What the hell's going on here? <laughs> so, so you're just gonna have to watch it later when it gets posted, Tim. Uh, all right, everybody. Good night. All right.